Hello and welcome to part 11, uh, more four corner situations. Okay, uh, we are going to be looking at four corner situations where we have three corners needing permutation and just one corner needing orientation. So, taking your cube, holding it like this, let's go ahead and do our commutator on the right side. Just like that. Go ahead and hold it now with blue in the front still with white on the top. Let's do two more conjugates, both on the right side. I'm doing it quickly because I think you guys already know how to do it. Okay, so what do we see here? I see a corner here that needs permutation, another corner needing permutation, and a third corner needing permutation. But notice this corner does not need permutation. It's in the right spot, it just needs orientation, right? It just needs to be rotated where it is, okay? So, how do we solve this type of situation? Well, based on how we've been doing it all along, I've shown you how rather than try, trying to orient this piece where it is right now, it's actually simpler to just move it to a different spot and then bring it back correctly. And that's exactly what we're going to do now, okay? So, I've got three corners needing permutation. As you might guess, I'm going to perform a commutator on these three corners to solve one of them, okay? But I'm also at the same time going to make sure that this piece is one of the three pieces involved in that three cycle, involved in the commutator, okay? And I'll show you what I mean. So let's look at these other pieces here. Uh, that's a good piece, that's a good piece, uh, that's not a good piece, okay? So, uh, let's start with this one, the red, white, and blue piece, okay? Red, white, and blue piece, and I see that it's oriented correctly for the red side, it's adjacent to where it belongs, so now all I have to do is my commutator, right? Because all I'm trying to do is solve one of these four pieces, okay? But... Because we have this corner here, and this is the corner that is oriented incorrectly, I want to make sure that this corner is one of the three that gets moved around, okay? So, holding the cube like this, we're going to go ahead and do our commutator on these three corners. Because our, we have two goals here, solve one corner and fix this orientation problem by moving it to a different location. So, commutator on the right side, looks like this. Rotate this corner up, and undo. Okay, so what did that do? It solved the red, white, and blue corner, which we knew it was gonna do, and it also fixed the orientation problem on that piece that we were looking at. What does that leave us with? Well, it leaves us with just our basic three corner situation, okay? We just have three corners that need permutation, so now we just go ahead and solve it. Left side commutator here, moves that piece there. I need orange, here it is. Bring the orange down to the front, and now I just perform my commutator on the left. Done. Let's look at another one, okay? Holding the cube, uh, let's, go ahead and, let's go ahead and get to our basic starting position. That means two commutators on the right side, Basic starting position, right? Red, white, blue on the right side, okay? Let's go ahead and hold the cube uh, with the red in front, okay? And here's what I want you to do. I want you to twist this bottom left corner, okay? Take this bottom left corner and twist it to the left, okay? Hold the cube again with red in the front. And now twist this top uh, left corner here, twist it to the right. So this one to the right, okay? And then just double check, make sure your cube looks like that. Now what are we doing? Well, we've got three, oh, we have a total of four unsolved corners, three of which need permutation, one of which, this one on the bottom, as you can see, needs orientation. What's my goal here? My goal is to solve one of these three corners, and 
to get this piece out of there, right? We're going to try to fix this orientation problem, not by solving it, but just by moving it somewhere else. So, as I can see, I can do this with no conjugate. Right side commutator will solve the red, white, and blue piece. I just need to remember that this is the piece I'm going to rotate up here, not this one. I'm actually going to ignore this piece. This is not the one we want. We want to do our commutator on these two pieces and the orientation problem. So, on the right side, commutator, rotate this piece up to here, and finish. What does that leave us with? Well, it leaves us with two unsolved corners on the top and one on the bottom, right? A total of three corners needing permutation, and that's what we want. If I hold my cube with red on top and white in the front, I can actually solve the rest of this with no conjugate. This piece is oriented correctly. It's also adjacent to where it belongs. And I need green here, and that green is already in front. So I don't need to conjugate. I'll go ahead and finish it up. And we're done. Okay, so that was, uh, what was that, two examples? Uh, where we had three corners needing permutation and just one needing orientation, okay? Um, I want to go ahead and pull up that same situation again, though, because there's something else here that I want to show you. So, again, let's go to our basic starting position from the solved cube. That's two commutators, right, on the right side. And then, if you remember, we took this uh, bottom left corner here and we twisted it to the left, right? And then we took this top left corner, and we twisted that one to the right. Okay? So, why am I making you do this again? I want to show you what happens if we make a mistake here. Okay? And the mistake here would be a very easy one to make. Right? Because you're so used to um, using your commutator on three pieces needing permutation. Right? Like these three up top. Okay? But... Remember what we said, we want to do our commutator on these two pieces and this one, not this one. What if we forgot? What if we did not include this orientation problem in the cycle, right? What if we did it on these three? Well, let's do it, because you might be able to guess what's going to happen, right? If this white sticker moves here, then this corner is not going to be oriented correctly, is it? This first corner is going to be fine. What about that second corner? Yeah, that one's going to be good. But this one will be an, this one will become an orientation problem just like this one. So it's going to leave us with these two pieces oriented incorrectly. Let's do it, take a look at it. Move this one over here, even though we shouldn't. And voila. Just like we thought that white sticker moved I'm sorry, the orange sticker moved here, creating an orientation problem. This piece we left alone, so that stayed an orientation problem. So what do I have? I have a solved cube with two corners needing orientation. I've got an orientation problem on the bottom and on the top. How do I solve this? It might seem complicated, but it's really not. All I have to do is a conjugate to move this corner up top. Because I want both of those corners on the same side. Okay? Now we have a situation where we have two orientation problems on the same side. How do I handle that? Well, just like we saw in a previous video, if I do my commutator on the right side, it's going to cycle these three pieces, okay? Which is actually going to mess up this solved corner, but I don't care, okay? My goal is to get both of these two orientation problems out of the location they're in right now, okay? So, commutator with blue on the right side, you can do it with me. And, and what did that do for us? Okay, well, it took us to a situation now where we have one, two, and three corners unsolved. And that's fine, because we know that we can solve this situation pretty easily um, using a commutator and maybe a conjugate. So, uh, let's look at this blue piece, okay? I can bring that blue piece up to the blue side. That makes it oriented correctly. The white sticker tells me it's going to go here. The only thing I need to look at is the co color that goes here. It's going to be green. 
Where's the green sticker? Here it is. All I have to do is bring it down to the front. Okay? That makes for a slightly messed up looking cube, but don't worry about it. We're only 10 moves away from solving it, right? Our eight moves in the commutator plus the two conjugates. So let's do it. One, two, three. Rotate this one up. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I undo my two conjugates. That's one and that's two. Okay? So in case you were wondering uh, why I showed you that scenario, it's because you're going to make that mistake. Okay? You're going to make that mistake where you wind up having just two corners unsolved, both of them being orientation problems. So it's good to go ahead and anticipate some of these mistakes that we're going to make along the way. Okay, guess what? We only have one more situation to look at. Okay, and as you might have guessed, it's going to be a situation where all four corners on top need orientation. So let's do this. Hold the cube with red in front. Twist this corner, red, white, and green to the left. Twist the red, white, and blue corner to the right. Okay? And go ahead and turn the cube around with orange in the front. Do the same thing on this one. Take this blue, white, and orange, twist it to the left, and this one to the right. Okay? And that gives you a situation which, honestly, you're not going to see all that often, but nonetheless, I want to show it to you anyway. Okay? Where all four corners on top need orientation. Okay, how would we solve this? Well, if you think about it, it's not that much different than the situation where we had three corners needing orientation, right? Our goal was not to really try to solve any of them in the location that they're in. It was to scramble them and move them to other locations, and that's exactly what we're going to do now, okay? So, uh, holding the cube uh, with red in the front, uh, let's go ahead and just do a right side commutator. It's going to scramble these three corners, right? It's going to permute them, move them to a different spot. This piece will be left untouched, okay? So right side commutator. What situation does that bring us to? Well, as you might guess, these three corners now, which a moment ago needed orientation, now need permutation. This corner still needs orientation. So we're back to where we were in the last video. Uh, three corners needing permutation, one corner needing orientation. I can tell by looking at the cube that this red, white, and blue piece is oriented correctly. Is it adjacent to where it belongs? It is. So a left side commutator will solve that one piece. But that's not enough. Okay, I don't want to just solve one corner here. I also want to make sure that this orientation problem is one of the three corners that gets caught up in the cycle, right? So how can I do that? This is going to be corner number one. This is going to be corner number two, obviously, right? Because that piece is going to move there. How do I make sure that this corner is the third corner in my cycle? Well, all I have to do is just bring it down to the front, like that, okay? And now my left side commutator will cycle these three corners. It'll solve this one and it'll fix this orientation problem by moving it somewhere else. So let's do it. On the left, undo. What does that leave us with? Just three corners needing permutation. Okay. I see that this orange piece is oriented correctly. So I'm going to hold the cube with blue in the front, orange on top. Is this piece adjacent to where it belongs? Yes, it is. But I don't want to just solve one corner, right? Because I'm down to just three unsolved corners, I want to solve all three of them at once using my commutator. So that means I need what color here? White. Where is that white sticker? Well, it's hiding in the back. Very often it is, right? So I just take that white sticker and bring it around to the blue side because I have blue in front. Now I perform my commutator. I just have to remember when I'm done to undo that conjugate. Left side solves the first corner. Rotate this corner up, finish, and undo the conjugate. And that's it for four corner situations. Hopefully that wasn't too difficult. In our next video, we're going to move on to, you guessed it, five unsolved corners. So if you're ready for that, click here.